Well, let's talk about a couple of these FMCG companies. Why do I uh, have to talk about them right now? Because yesterday there was an FMCG summit that took place where anyone and everyone from the world of the consumer space came down. They were in a reflective mood talking about uh, reigniting growth in the sector itself. I caught up with a bunch of companies from Piddy Light, uh, Adani Wilmar, Godrej Consumer and Reliance Retail on the sidelines of this summit. And there were in, 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 interesting insights coming in from there as well. Piddy Light has seen a gradual improvement in demand. The stock has moved to the high point of trade. RM prices are benign, so they expect margins to stay resilient as well. Adani Wilmar has seen good growth in the festive season. They've exhausted all their high-cost inventory, so that means margins are likely to expand going forward. They're not considering any demerger of the business and did not make any comment on Adani's looking to sell stake on the company as well. Godrej Consumer believes that volume growth will turn a corner in the next couple of quarters, whereas Supermarket India has been doing well, even as Kirana India is not doing too well. So Reliance Retail saw strong sales this Diwali season, the best in the history of the company. In fact, some of the interesting trends out there were they too, sold five times more Indian Mithai than chocolates in their stores this time around. Dry fruit sales were, went through the roof as well. And supermarket sales in India now have crossed overall sales in some most East Asian countries. So this has become an important channel of uh, uh, you know demand for a lot of these FMCG companies as well. So let's hear out uh, some of the interesting comments that came in from that summit. Uh, more than the last quarter, the present quarters is exciting. Um, the festival season has started. Out of home consumption is the biggest uh, story, I would say. The marriage season uh, is very big. And that is what, uh, that is what will keep uh, the staples business going. Uh, market prices are comfortable. Consumers are satisfied with the prices. And overall, it looks a very good year. We are over the uh, difficult times and uh, things are much brighter, much better. Volume growths are fantastic, I would say, about 20%. Uh, so things look very bright. Uh, volume growth will give us uh, value growth and margin growth. So that is for sure. We are not, as you know, Mangalam, we are not strongly festival-oriented. For us, fest the, while this is a big quarter, it's not largely festival-related demand. But as far as we are concerned, demand conditions have been decent. They haven't been, uh, there hasn't been a great upsurge, but there's no downturn either. See, at, in the home improvement sector, I would say the jury is still out because normally what we believe is the festival season onwards, right up to what is, you know, in the trade, they say Diwali, say Holi tak, demand achi rehti hai. Let's wait and see. I think in supermarket India, we find uh, that even smallest of festivals, in different regions get celebrated celebrated a lot more. Uh, branding of traditional categories is taking place. Uh, we sold five times more mithai than we sell chocolates this festival. And overall, dry fruits are booming. Overall value added and uh, staples uh, uh, food categories are all showing a strong trend. So uh, yeah, for us, when I wear the supermarket India lens and go even to smaller towns, tier two, tier three towns, uh, we see very bullish uh, trend. Supermarket India is large enough. Its consumption is equal to many countries put together. And the learning times and iterations are very, very fast.